right, Paula. Let's switch gears now and uh, talk weather. Driving in this afternoon, there were snow squalls everywhere. I hit one. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's sunshine in between, and it, you think you're done, and you're not. It's like white out like that, yeah, and then it it's is. gone. It's so right? Weird. It is. Yeah. That's what we're worried about. So far, a lot of this stuff has been relatively light, at least compared to what we had yesterday around the midday hour. So we don't have any snow squall warnings out, uh, and you can tell by the colors here on the radar, most of the stuff is fairly light. We've got a snow shower that's just starting to pass down the river, uh, but it's coming uh, out of downriver and basically over Ontario. In fact, if we look at it from our downtown camera, uh, you can see that that snow is over here. You can see the precipitation actually falling, and then the sunshine just off to the left side of your screen, and that's kind of a a capsule of what we're seeing across the entire area right now. Temperatures have uh, just touched 20 degrees, but with that westerly wind at 15, at least we're in positive territory for those wind chills, but it's really taking a bite of how it feels outside right now. And with that 20 here, there's not a whole lot of relief down here to the southwest. The warmest temperatures we've got in the region in Missouri are in 20s, 23 in Kansas City and St. Louis. So when you see these temperatures uh, that are in the seven day forecast, they're not coming from here. <laughs> they're coming from way back there. Uh, and we'll be looking at that in a minute. By the way, happy Fat Tuesday. Uh, we got this in on storm pins from Lincoln Park. Uh, I've never seen a nighttime display from Mardi Gras before, but apparently uh, this exists. So uh, appreciate that shot. Uh, as we get into the rest of tonight, we will be looking for snow showers to be with us at least to the evening hours. And then after 12 o'clock, uh, these are going to start to taper tomorrow. Almost a carbon copy. Go Wikipedia that if you don't know what it is of, to, of today. As we get into the afternoon, four or five o'clock, we'll see the snow showers start to return and they will be with us through the evening until after midnight and then those start to move away. But Thursday uh, will be a switch. We will start with sunshine. High pressure settles in and temperatures start their trek upward as we will gradually get back to average and eventually even surpass that mark. Uh, hoping for the big 5-0 as we finish out the upcoming weekend. Lows tonight, though, a far cry from that. A lot of single digits out here, 7 degrees in the city. We'll call it 8 uh, officially in Romulus, but notice that down here in our south zone, we'll have some double-digit wind chill, or uh, temperatures, I should say, down towards the state line. Uh, but because of the way the clouds are going to clear out in the northern half of the area, the west zone, you'll be at 8 or 9 down there in Manchester and Chelsea, but it's going to be zero uh, in Genesee County. In fact, there will be some negative temperatures for overnight lows in our north zone. Emily City, Yale, Lapeer, all minus one and even colder as you get up into Sanilac County. So highs tomorrow slightly better than what we did today at 23, but we're still going to be fighting some of those afternoon snow showers tomorrow. It looks like the better chance is going to be in our north zone and then temperatures. They're on their way. We hit 50 degrees on Sunday. The good news is even though we take that little step down on Monday, Almost the entire week next week is going to be at or above average. So like it's it. going to start to feel like March. Yeah. Finally. What am I Wikipedia? Carbon copy? Carbon copy. You remember yeah. that? I do. And you, you think about it, it's like, well, who doesn't know that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we don't use those anymore. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks, Ben. Here's Doc. Since the beginning of the year, hospitals have been required by law to post their prices online. But the devil is in the details. Coming up, I'm diving in. See what I discovered when I tried to use these new databases and what you need to know before you rely on these prices for your health care decisions. But first, a Detroit police scout car involved in a bad crash as another driver slams into the wall of a business. That's coming up next. Local 4 Sports is brought to you in part by Randazzo Heating and Cooling. There's a place where speed bumps don't exist and donuts are served fresh every morning. Welcome to Muscleville, a Dodge owner's paradise. The only dating is speed dating. The mayor is this guy. And the town square is a straightaway. Head to Muscleville, where every day is a performance day. Well-qualified lessees get a low mileage lease on one of these 2019 Dodge vehicles for $3.99 a month. Live from the Starlight Lounge. One plus one equals two. Little too late. A soccer bam boom. Who's in the room? Love is dangerous. But driving safe means you pay less. Switch and save. Yes, man. Excuse me, miss. Does this heart belong to you? Would you like it anyway? Scoobly doo ba 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 ba.
With my injuries, I knew I couldn't afford another problem. After my accident, I was faced with a lot of bills. I was a victim of an accident. Then I was victimized again. Insurance companies count on you not knowing what to do, but I do. Then I got smart. I got Mike. I got Mike. After an accident, you'll have bills, you'll have medical problems, but you'll also have me, Mike Morse. Call me and let's go for the win. 855-MIKE-WINS. Right now, save 11% off everything at Menards. Dakota pre-finished products make it easy to create custom shelving, closet kits, organizers, and more. Add warmth and beauty to any room with Dakota pre-finished shiplap. It installs with hidden fastening for professional results. It's available in seven wood grain finishes or paintable white. Update your home and save 11% off all Dakota shiplap. Because right now, you can get 11% off everything at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Thank you for calling Randy Esso. There has never been a better time to upgrade your heating and cooling system. Because of our customers, we've grown to be the most reputable, most preferred heating and cooling company in all of Metro Detroit. And for that, we can't thank you enough. Right now, get 0% interest and get over $3,200 cash back. Dare to compare. Put us up against anyone because only Randazzo gives you the highest value for the lowest price, guaranteed. Go with the name you know. Congratulations to the local high school athletes that won Local 4's 4 Frenzy Fan Choice Awards at clickondetroit.com slash 4 Frenzy. A woman and two police officers in the hospital after a crash sends a car into the side of a building. This happened near Alta Road and Charlevoix on Detroit's east side. We're told a 69-year-old woman tried to get around two cars and then ended up crashing into a DPD car before slamming into a building. Both officers and that woman, the good news, they will all be okay. Across Michigan tonight, a 60-year-old man in Benton Harbor is charged with murder after police say his roommate's body was found in the basement. Jerry Osler is charged with first degree murder. Police say he stabbed Booths during a dispute over money and kept the body in the basement for four to five days. Prosecutors say Booth was found with a stab wound to the chest and the knife used was found near the body. And in southwest Michigan in Bridgman, a reactor at a nuclear power plant is shutting down this week. Right now, the power has been reduced at the Cook nuclear plant. The reactor will shut down on Wednesday to undergo refueling, maintenance, and also some routine testing. It's still not clear how long it's going to be shut down. The entire plant will stay open while the reactor undergoes maintenance. New at 5.30. Stunned survivors now beginning the long and difficult recovery across the South. I'm Jay Gray. We'll have the latest from Alabama coming up. President Trump calling a new sweeping investigation from House Democrats a big fat fishing expedition. I'm Blaine Alexander in Washington. We've got reaction from both sides coming up. And, and there are many ways that communities show their appreciation for their police officers. The city of Highland Park, it's doing something it hasn't done in over a decade. I'll show you how they're putting officers first. On the next Live in the D, the toy store that will spark creativity in your kids. Plus the homegrown business celebrating Detroit's people and style. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. on Local 4. You gotta get to Checkers and Rallies. Four items for just three bucks? Nobody competes with that. Get a Checker Burger, a spicy chicken sandwich, or a crispy fish sandwich. Fries, pie, and a drink for three bucks. The four for free deal. Checkers and Rallies. Fast foodies know the deal. Not giving in. Nobody's life's easy, and sometimes life presents us with mountains that seem too high to climb. But that's when I dig in. When push comes to shove, it comes down to your will to win. I'm a trial lawyer, and a trial's a heavyweight championship fight. Figer Law won't back down, we won't give up, and we never give in. Ever. Introducing the all-new Chevy Silverado. It's the official truck of calloused hands. The official truck of getting to work and getting to work. It's the official truck of homecoming and coming home. The all-new Chevy Silverado. GM employees with a current Silverado lease can get this custom crew cab for $279 a month. Or during truck month, get 0% financing for 72 months on this all-new Silverado. 
Karistan Carpet shows the world new ways to relax beautifully, play beautifully, dance beautifully, love beautifully. The world is full of people who want to do more than just live. Karistan, live beautifully. Karistan, exclusively at Independent Carpet One. You knew you needed new windows last year, but you put it off. You wanted new windows before winter, but you put it off. Don't put it off anymore. Wall Sides off-season sale ends Tuesday. Get 50% off all windows. There's even 50% off patio doors. And since it's our 75th year, take an extra 15% off for cash or five years, no interest. Wall Sides off-season sale ends Tuesday, March 5th. 1-800-521-7800. Get ready to crave checkers and rallies because Texas Toast Garlic Bread, covered in crispy onions and sweet smoky barbecue sauce. You just won at eating for only $2.49. New Texas Toast Garlic Bread doubles. Checkers and rallies. Fast foodies know the deal. A crucial step forward. Leaders in Highland Park make a big announcement, paving the way for what they hope is a brighter future. For years, the Highland Park Police Department has faced the same problem, keeping officers on the force. And for years, Highland Park officers have been among the lowest paid in the entire country. But now that's all changing. Germont Terry is in Highland Park tonight and Germont, both the chief and the mayor, saying this will make the city safer. Sandra, that's what they expect. But the fact is, according to the chief, no one wanted to work for the lowest paying police departments in the state. That's how the chief describes it. And so let's look exactly at the figures. It was over 10 years ago. We're talking 2009, the last time officers saw a raise here. And, that, and right now, currently, they were making $15 an hour as a starting pay for any officer coming in. Today, it has jumped to $20 an hour with pay raises built in. And that's significant in keeping the city safe. The city of Highland Park and its police force continue to change the negative perception some have about the city. Despite some reports citing high crime as a factor affecting its growth, the city says over the past six years, the numbers have dropped. An almost a 34% decrease in violent crime and a, almost a 60% decrease in property crime. Highland Park reached those numbers even though their officers were some of the lowest paid across the state. For $15 an hour, you don't get the best caliber police officer. Now, because our starting pay is competitive, we can now recruit with, with the best of them. Officers in Highland Park are part-time. Currently, 25 sworn cops patrol in the city. There are just over a dozen high-ranking officers and close to 50 reserve officers all on the payroll. So it begs the question, where did the city find the cash to finally increase the starting pay? We're told the mayor took a deep dive into the budget and decided to reallocate existing funds. For the last couple of years, we had a budget surplus. Not that, not that much. But he said, okay, let's try this. In the process, officers are now equipped with tasers and body cameras. The department also rolled out an online computer reporting option for residents. How are we going to do this? What is that going to do for us? It's going to improve our response time. The citizens of this city deserve the best, and that's what we're here to give them. Now, despite this pay increase, there's one looming problem the chief sees. Of the, all of the sworn officers here at this the police department, not a single officer lives in the city of Highland Park. This department and the city is also working to recruit people who live in this city to join its force. Reporting live in Highland Park tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4.